Hi guys, how's everybody doing today? I hope that everybody's doing great. Welcome back to my channel. Hello, my name is Carla. If you haven't been here before, welcome. And if you have, welcome back. Um, so today we are going to do a full phase of Dollar Tree makeup. But uh, I'm doing this right before work. So I'm going to wear this makeup all day. And I'm going to see how it wears. Um, this is the look. Um, it's very natural. I do very natural makeup for work. Um, but I used a lot of really cool stuff. I'm going to show you guys how I achieved this look and then we're going to come back at the end and we're going to talk about it after I have worn the makeup all day. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you at the end of the video. Bye!
Hi guys, so I'm home. <laughs> Finally got home from work. I've been out all day. So I put on the makeup at like five o'clock this morning and it is about seven o'clock at night right now. Um, and here is what the, ma the makeup looks like. Um, I have to say not terrible at all. The blush is still there. It looks really nice, actually. I do see, like, a lot of dryness on my forehead. I hope that you guys can see, but, like, I don't know if you can see, like, all of that dryness and the separation of makeup right there. Um, but I have to say, everywhere else is pretty good. Like, um, I can see some foundation coming off from, like, the side of my nose and on my nose. But that's normal for any foundation, really, that I wear. It usually just tends to come off, like, on the side of my nose. This does never happen, though. That is new to me, how it looks so dry and crusty. Um, but I wanted to try something else before I talked about like the products i actually want to redo my makeup again tomorrow and use my foundation but use like some of the products that i use today and see how that goes but i have to say not terrible not terrible at all so yeah i think i'm going to make this video a little longer and give you guys two reviews um <laughs> so i'm going to do that tomorrow i'm going to do my makeup with some of my things that i usually um wear and then i'm gonna mix in some of the dollar tree stuff too so yeah i'll catch you guys tomorrow for that part of the video Okay, you guys, it is the end of my day. I am exhausted. I want to take off my makeup. I want to go to bed. I want to watch The Mandalorian because I am obsessed with Grogu. He is so freaking cute. Um, so I want to go um, chill for the night. Um, but here is the second day of wearing um, Dollar Tree makeup. Um, I decided to mix it in with my everyday makeup today just to give it a fair chance. Um, yesterday, I wore 
all of the Dollar Tree products all day and I mean it wasn't terrible but it wasn't the best like my skin definitely did not look the best especially in my forehead area but today it actually looks a lot better it doesn't look as dry as it did yesterday I don't know if you guys can see um, it doesn't really look dry at all actually um, the eyeshadow is still there, the blush is still there, everything's still there. Um, of course, I've been wearing this makeup for a really long time. Um, I did my makeup at like 5 o'clock this morning and it is, it is 9.20 at night. <laughs> so I am ready to take this makeup off. Although it doesn't feel heavy, it doesn't really feel like I'm wearing anything at all but I wanted to come in here really quick and talk about the products because I feel like I found some really nice products actually so let's talk about the face primer I really love that I found this at Dollar Tree um, and I don't think that it's a bad primer but it is a very shiny it is a very oily and shiny primer so if you're already oily and shiny, you're not going to like this at all. Um, I'm not sure. I think they might have other types. I think I saw a mattifying primer. Um, I don't know how that works though. I am very matte myself, so that primer wouldn't work for me. Um, but then this wouldn't, I don't know. I don't know if I want to keep using this just because... I really don't like over overly oily things on my face but I mean I guess I can give it a try with my everyday foundation and see how it goes um, so yeah this is a it's okay the foundation I hate this I hate it with passion um, I hated it yesterday it was so hard to get it to show up um, I did use the Dollar Tree sponge um, yesterday, and I feel like it took all of my product. I felt like it just soaked it in. Um, so I definitely don't like the sponge at all. The reason why I didn't use it today. I actually had to use a brush with this yesterday to get the foundation to even cover a little bit. Um, but I wasn't really a fan of it. And then I tried using it today by mixing it in with my Too Faced peach perfect foundation which is my everyday foundation right now and i've been using this for quite a while now and i know exactly how this foundation works so using it with this i could tell right away that this is the problem i really don't like this at all and i will not continue to use it i will not be using it anymore it's just really not a good product in my opinion but um yeah i'm not gonna use that ever again the um concealer it's not terrible but it doesn't have a lot of coverage like i can still see a lot of my darkness coming through and actually this concealer reminds me a lot of the um of the Dior concealer, believe it or not, it reminds me a lot of it, uh, with the exception that the Dior concealer does have a little bit more coverage, but it reminds me so much of it. This is a hydrating serum concealer, and the Dior one acts just like this one, just with a little bit more coverage. So, might be a dupe, and you know, for a dollar twenty-five, yes. <clears throat> the lip balm, this little lip balm. I am obsessed with it. It's so nice. It's what I'm wearing right now. I wore it yesterday. I wore it last night before I went to bed. And when I woke up this morning, my lips were really, really nice and soft. Um, and it's what I'm wearing right now. I love this. I definitely recommend it if you see it. It smells really good too. So really like the lip balm. Um, the lipstick that I tried today, I don't like this. I find it very drying and it doesn't really have a lot of pigment. Um, and it's not moisturizing at all, so this I don't like. Um, and then I used one more lip product today. <clears throat> I think it was like the little rolling ball one. Oh, this one. I don't like this one as much. I find it to be really thick, a little bit sticky, and then the little roller thing doesn't really want to move. So 
I'm not a fan of this one. I do have another one, which is so weird. I have another one by LA Colors and it's also in mint, um, but it's a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna try that one and see if it fits any different than this one, but I don't like that one. Um, the powders. I love this powder. I was actually scared to use this powder from Be Pure because I thought that it was going to give me a white cast. I thought that it was going to be too light for me. I've been using it like under my eyes um, to set the concealer and it's actually a beautiful powder. Definitely recommend if you guys see this. I actually really do like this and I'm going to keep using it. Um, <clears throat> the face powder that I used yesterday this one um it's okay it's not really my favorite to be 100 percent honest it's okay it's a fine powder but i don't know which powder is the one that caused all that dryness or if it was because of the foundation i'm not sure um but today i am wearing this one which is the la colors loose powder and, and that dryness did not happen so i don't know if it was this one it's okay it's not my favorite this on the other hand if you guys see this pick it up it's really good i actually really like it i was a little scared of it at first because it looks a little dark but it's actually a really nice powder it's really really beautiful so definitely enjoy this gonna keep using that um this mascara sucks i couldn't even use it i can't even close it as you guys can see i can't even close it anymore um it's dry it doesn't do anything for my lashes um waste of money right here don't like it will not use it ever again um let's talk about the best thing in the entire pile of makeup that i used yesterday and today these two are the winners in my book this liquid uh, blush is so beautiful it's so nice it's super hydrating now that is that's the thing it's really hydrating and it's very shiny so if you don't like that in your blush you're not going to like this um but it's so pretty but also if you set it with a powder um the shininess goes away so i mean either way if you only like to use cream products and not put any powders on them and you don't like to shine you might not like this but if you combine it with a powder it'll work um and then this powder beautiful it's so beautiful um this one's called sweet cheeks by um la colors it's just so beautiful it's a matte blush but the color is so vibrant. It's so pigmented and it lasts all day. I love these two. I actually went to Dollar Tree today to pick up some stuff for work and they had a different shade. They had more like a nude shade and I had to grab it because it's just so good. These are so good. I can't wait to use the other shades in the same collection. I'm obsessed, obsessed. Um, this little powder from Be Pure Cosmetics, um, it's actually a uh, blurring press powder, but I was using it as a, um, as a bronzer because I couldn't find like a bronzer that I liked at Dollar Tree. It's actually really nice. It's a really nice powder to use as a bronzer. So definitely recommend as a powder for your entire face or as a bronzer. It's a really nice product. The highlights, definitely recommend these little highlights. I have been using these for a really, really long time and they don't disappoint. Um, they brought more colors. This one is in Glow Time, which is like a champagne. I love it. I mean, I'm still glowy. It's still there. It's lasted me all day. And for $1.25, why not? Um, the eyeshadows, so I did try two different eyeshadows. I tried the LA Colors Bare Eyeshadow, which is like a quad, and then I tried the LA Colors, um, I don't know, six color eyeshadow, and it's called Playful, which is like a pink. Um, and this one said that it was a new formula, and I have to agree because I have tried these in the past and they were really bad. Um, but this one is actually really good. I mean, it's still on my eyelids, so um, They definitely have changed the formula of them have made them a little bit more pigmented a lot more softer 
I definitely recommend this one. I haven't tried the other colors, um, but the playful one, which is like the pinker one, definitely recommend. And then these, I definitely recommend these. These, if you see them, grab them. They come in like four different shades, I believe. I have all four of them, but this is the first one that I tried. Um, the bare one, it's so beautiful. It's very pigmented. Definitely enjoyed it a lot. Um, the little setting mist that I tried, it's okay. Um, it smells really good. I didn't feel like it was hydrating, but you know, it's okay. Um, and I believe that is everything that I used. Yeah, that is everything that I used. I am definitely um, very surprised by a lot of these products. I, I went into this not having a lot of expectations for these products just because in the past I haven't really had any luck with um, Dollar Tree makeup. But I have to say, I am extremely surprised. I'm actually going to be putting some of these products in my everyday um, basket here because <laughs> these blushes, I'm telling you, I'm obsessed. The powders, I'm obsessed. Um, the lip balm I'm obsessed with and you know the eyeshadows are really good so yeah I hope that this video was helpful for you guys I have been telling you in previous videos that I really want to start like deep diving into some of the topics that I like talking about including Dollar Tree makeup um, and you know this video was supposed to be a one day video but i was like no you know what i'm gonna really deep dive the first day it was all a full face of dollar tree and then the next day i incorporated some of my um products that i know i love into the dollar tree products because i wanted to see if they performed differently um with different products and i mean it was a success i feel like I was able to make a lot of these products work today um, as opposed to yesterday. So yeah, I hope that this video was helpful and um, it was a lot of fun and expect more videos like these because I really did enjoy it. And I'll catch you guys on my next video. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to um, leave me a comment down below if you want to say anything. And I will catch you guys on my next video. Bye! I actually forgot something that I wanted to mention so bad I can't believe I forgot but the Ioni um, brow gel is really good I mean my brows are still in place from this morning and it's been a really long time this is like I wouldn't be surprised if it's just hair gel and a little dupe but it's really really good so if you see it grab it it's really good um the first thing that I'm impressed with Ioni so Yep, I just wanted to come in here and share that. <laughs>